Cataractcoach.com. Trifocal eye wells can make you very happy. So these eye wells can be great for the right patients. Let me show you just a routine case of me doing a trifocal lens here. Now, the most important thing in a trifocal lens is are you going to meet, or even better, exceed the patient's expectations? That's really our most important question. Because if we can meet or exceed the patient's expectations, they're going to be happy. We never ever want to have a patient who's a little bit dissatisfied or he didn't quite meet the expectations. That's not what we want here. So in this case, which is just, again, a routine cataract case, we've already put the viscoelastic in. Let's see him making the main incision here. A lot, relatively small eye. Look how big that fixation ring looks. Look how narrow the white to white is. And so you can see I couldn't even fit the fixation ring on the eye. So we're just going to use a chopper here through the pair to hold the eye back in primary and make our main incision here. So that's clue number one. This patient's hyperopic. So if the patient's hyperopic and has no accommodation left, let's say the patient's 65, 70 years old, well, this patient has a reliance on spectacles or glasses for everything. Let's say this patient has a plus three hyperope for distance. And then on top of that, another 250 for reading. So plus 550 is the effective reading power. That's just a lot. And as a result, this patient is really very dependent on glasses and has very poor quality vision. So patients starting off with a significant refractive error, especially on the hyperopic side, that's a good sign that they may do very well with a trifocal lens and they have no accommodation left. Now, if you have a young person who is a plus three hyper for distance, the patient's 21 years old, well, there's so much accommodation, it really doesn't make a difference. This patient who we're looking at now on the OR table saw beautifully in youth. But what ended up happening is as you lose that accommodation, now you're more and more reliant on glasses, right? This patient started wearing reading glasses about the age of 45, then started wearing distance glasses on the age of 50. And for the last, let's say, 15, 20 years from age 50 to almost age 70, this patient really is reliant on glasses 100% of the day. And here we go. Nuka's touch out of the caps or bag, chop that thing in half. And then now we can just emulsify this pretty easily. So a little bit of a tilt and chop or flip and chop. You can see the nucleus has been flipped on its side here, and this comes out pretty easily. Not a very dense nucleus. Again, there's a large refractive component that we're really treating here, and not just lens opacity, but also a refractive component. So in this patient, you're starting off with a big reliance on glasses, and the patient just longs for the days of youth where he didn't have to have any glasses. Now, important to explain to the patient that, yes, I'll give you a much wider range, but it's not the same vision you had when you're 25 years old. Now, let me also tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. So much great material, including a free PDF book if you want to learn about cataract surgery, how to do FACO, a free curriculum series. There's the podcast. So much good stuff. Check it out, please. It's so much more than just watching YouTube videos. Now, cleaning up the cortex here. This patient will return to a wide range of vision, but it's, again, not the same as having that dynamic accommodation of youth. But you know what? Same with this patient looks in the mirror. You don't look like you're 25 years old either. And that's okay. So explaining that to the patient is important. Now, what if you had a patient who's closer to emotropic his or her whole, whole life? That's okay, too. We can definitely help them. They can be a good candidate for trifocal lens if there's significant lens opacity. So they have a significantly poor cataract. Their cataract is making their vision so terrible that they really can't see well. Then a trifocal lens is a heck of an improvement. It's almost magical. But you got to be careful with the younger Plano presbyope. You get a 53-year-old person coming in there to see you who's Plano or emotropic for distance, sees 20-20 distance, and just says, oh, just fix my reading vision because I can't see up close anymore because I'm 53. Well, that may not be the best candidate for trifocal lens because think about the quality of, of the image the patient has for distance at 53 and refraction is Plano and no lens opacity. That's really great distance vision. And is the trifocal distance vision as good as that? Well, it may not be all the time. And so this is an area where we've got to be cautious. So a patient who is a plano presbyope and relatively young and no lens opacity and even still has some accommodation left, like our 53-year-old we mentioned, I don't know if a trifocal lens is going to be the best choice. But for a patient like we see here with a high degree of hyperopia and the patient significantly older has no accommodation left, and the patient has some lens opacity. You can see that wasn't a totally clear lens. There was certainly some nuclear sclerosis there. This patient was thrilled with the outcome. So definitely a trifocal lens is an important part of my toolbox. I want to have as many options I, in, as I can for my patients. 
And again, if the patient starts off with a lot of lens opacity, then it may, and they have reasonable expectations, again, trifocal lens can be fantastic. But if, the one I want to caution you about is be cautious with the plano presbyopes who have no lens opacity and are relatively young. Because they may not be the most thrilled because the quality vision they get for distance vision with the trifocal may not be quite as good as they had before surgery. And that can mean the patient could be dissatisfied. So at the end of the case, looks pretty darn good. Just washing out and making sure we get all that little bit of residual viscoelastic. That's that angle sweep that you see me do on, on all my videos, all my cases. That angle sweep is important. There's the trifocal lens beautifully centered up. And finish up this case and this patient's going to be happy. So beautiful case. I hope you consider using trifocal lenses for the right patients. And remember, cataractcoach.com, teaching website, so much great material, a great search engine. Search there first before you email me, please.